Welcome. So when I was making my videos, I wanted to uh, make a, an example of a problem like this where I have y equals in parentheses negative x squared. Now we've just previously looked at when I have y equals negative x squared, we saw that this graph was reflected over the x-axis. But now what I'm doing is I'm making a negative inside my function, so it's going to be a negative x squared. Now, when we create a table of values, it's very important for us to understand. When I did a table of values for this, I had all positive numbers, right? And my, my graph kept on going up positive. Here, I'm always squaring my term, whatever my table of values, I'm squaring the x value first, then I'm multiplying by my negative 1, which may, means I'm going to have all negative values. Well, if you look at this, what I'm doing is no matter what x value I try to, if I want to find the y coordinates, um, when I plug in my x value, I'm always going to make it negative, or I'm not going to always make it negative. I'm going to multiply by a negative number, but then I'm going to square it. Well, when you look at a table of values, no matter what you square, either a positive or a negative number, you're always going to end up with positive values. So this graph is going to look exactly like my parent graph. But then you say, well, how does this look exactly like that? What is this transformation that's happening? And what we're, what we're going to find out is when you have a negative number multiplied inside of your function, th what we're doing is we're actually reflecting it not over the x-axis, but now we're reflecting this graph over the y-axis. And what's really important about this to understand is when we look at this parent graph, our graph is reflected about the y-axis already. You can see that the axis of symmetry here is x equals 0. So if I was to take this graph and reflect it over the y-axis, over my um, axis of symmetry, I'm going to get the exact same graph. So by applying my transformation, which is a reflection over the y-axis, I'm going to actually have the exact same graph of my parent graph. And if you want to try that, I'm not going to go through this um, with a table of values. But what you'll be able to see is you, that's exactly going to be the case. You're going to have the exact same graph as your parent graph. So there you go. Wanted to make a quick little video on that um, so you guys can understand when you, multiply, when you multiply by a negative number inside the function, it's going to be a reflection of the y-axis, wh which for a quadratic is, since it's already reflected about the y-axis, um, in this case, with no other transformation, is going to be exactly the same as your parent graph. Thanks.